August 29th, 1997, Skynet, a computer system built to protect us, became self-aware. It viewed humanity as a threat to its existence and decided to act. Judgment Day, as we eventually called it, marked the beginning of the war against the machines. Skynet attacks happened almost daily, but the attack that happened on that day was like nothing we'd seen before. Where are the others? Where's the rest of the resistance? I don't know. Ah! Yeah. Ah! No! No, no! <laughs> Private Jacob. I know who you are. There's an evacuation point on the other side of town. You need to get there. As soon as you get down the street, turn right and run as fast as you can. Thank you. 
there. Hello? I don't want to go with no, you. you don't, but we can't stay here. Who's there? Oh, thank God. You're from the Resistance. See, Patrick? He's going to help us. No, they're going to get us. Please, you need to help me. My little brother, he just won't listen. I'm not going. Leave me alone. I said leave me alone. But staying here is not an option. I'll protect you and your sister, okay? Okay. Thank you. I'm Jennifer, by the way. I've heard there's an evacuation point near here. Yeah, I know. My people are organizing it. We're heading there right now. I'll take us there. Come on, let's go. Where's the rest of the Resistance? I don't know. I came here looking for them myself. So, it's just you then? Dean was safe. It was, until all the soldiers were pulled out from the area. Through here! Terminators! Get down! Get down! These attacks happen more often as the line gets closer. This Erin, has she seen the Annihilation Line? Seen it? She's been on the other side of it. She tried to warn us, but we didn't listen. We're here. How gracious of you to finally join us. Where's your father? He's not coming. God damn it. Tell Ryan that we need to leave, now!
Oh, you're from the Resistance. Thank you for making sure that Jennifer and Patrick got here safe. Are you the guy I spoke to on the radio? Nah, I, I don't think so. I haven't been able to reach anybody for a while now, but listen, I know that Colin wants us to go, but I don't know how I feel about leaving anyone behind. Jennifer just got here, and you said yourself that you heard someone on the radio. There could be other people out there. Don't you think somebody should go and look for them? I mean, you're from the Resistance. It's your call. I'll search for other survivors. Good, I'll get the bus ready. Before you go, talk to Erin. She might be able to get you a med kit. Oh, oh, and take this. You'll probably need it. Ryan told me that you might have a med kit for me. Did he now? So I guess he's the one who rations out our supplies. If you really need it, you can have it. But our supplies are scarce, and I'd rather keep it for a real emergency. So you tell me, do you really need it or not? If I'm going out there again, I might need it. Better come back with at least a missing limb, so that I don't feel that med kit went to waste. Anyone there?
Is anyone here? Anyone in here? Who's there? I've come to get you. There's an evacuation point not far from here. You need to get there fast. No, I'm not leaving. Have you seen what's out there? That... that giant spider is going to get us. You have to destroy it. I already took care of it. It's safe now. Oh, thank God. Thank you. I don't see anyone else. I'm heading your way. Jennifer, what's the holdup? Tin cans coming! Jennifer! Get in! Go, go, go! Hold on, we're getting out of here! Mark's about to pass out. We need to stop soon. Okay, we'll do that. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Ryan. That over there is Erin. She's a doctor of the group. Jennifer's a scavenger, and Colin? Well, you can ask him yourself what he thinks he does. I'm Jacob. I'm a private from the Resistance. Pacific Division. Pacific? You're a long way from home. What you doing down here? My entire division was wiped out. I'm trying to get in touch with the South Division. I've got a message for Commander Baron. So it's true? The Annihilation Line's coming? It wasn't the Annihilation Line. It was something else. Then what was it? To be honest, I'm not sure myself. God damn it! That's as far as this piece of shit will go. Let's get off the road. Pull up over there. We got some time on them, so let's not lose our heads. 
I'll be on the fucking lookout for tin cans. Aaron, you do what you think is best for Mark. I'll see what I can do about the bus. Jacob, it might take a while, so can you look inside and see if it's safe to stay? Sure. Jennifer, would you help me? Sure. this for us? Oh, did I startle you? What do you want? I'm so glad you asked. Since we're stuck here, I figured I'll go see if anything's creeping around the corner. I hear that you're looking for the resistance, and where I'm heading, they used to have an outpost. I wouldn't mind backup while I'm out there. So what do you say? Buddies? Talk to Ryan and see if he needs anything. I'm moving out now. Let's meet at the bridge. And don't make me wait. Pipe bomb. This will do some damage. 
This might come in handy. Thanks for helping us in Pasadena. Hey, thanks for earlier. If it wasn't for you, I probably would have started completely freaking out. And that wouldn't have done anyone any good. Patrick's been through a lot, you know? I guess we all have. I just wish I could find something that would take his mind off all this. At least for a moment. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. What about your father? What happened to him? He protected us from a tin can. We were able to sneak out, but he had no chance. When I looked back, he was lying there, dead on the floor. Look, I'm sorry, I, I don't think I'm ready for this. Were there any resistance in Pasadena? They were stationed just outside of town since I can remember. But they moved not that long ago. We tried to convince ourselves that maybe we were safe so they didn't need to be there anymore. But apparently we were wrong. Seems a repair might take a couple days. How's it looking inside? There's a lot of supplies there. Looks like someone left them for us. Nah, seems too much of a convenience. You better keep your eyes open. But speaking of supplies, we don't have much, but we keep everything useful inside this crate. You feel free to look through and pick up what you need. Listen, I know that finding the resistance is your number one priority. But if you stumble upon a set of tools while you're out there, please bring them to me, okay? I must have lost mine during the escape. Good luck out there. panicking before. It's just that... Why do they always have to look like spiders? This is Rivers, over? Yeah, yeah, I see you. I found myself a lookout spot. No sign of any tin can so far. A couple of crawlers, but nothing you can't handle.
I see two resistance outposts. You go about your business while I stay here and enjoy the view. And please don't do anything stupid. Oh yeah. Out. Huh. I think I know that. When you're shooting, I thought you'd need all the advice you could get. I know that. When you're shooting, I thought you'd need all the advice you could get.
that'd take care of you. Come on. Hey, fuckhead! Your radio's on! Or was I supposed to hear that? Fucking creep.
alive or dead in there? Alive. Just check.
good reason you're going exactly the opposite of where you're supposed to be. Ryan asked me to look for something.
got what you were looking for? I did. Oh, good. Now get on with your mission. We don't have all day.
that warehouse wall from here. Use explosives to get yourself inside. Or find some other way. I don't care. Vision has definitely been here. order signed by Commander Baron, and it's only from a couple of days ago. Are you there? Yeah. Did you find any? Not yet. I'm going to the second spot. Maybe they're there.
fuckhead. I saw some movement in the factory. Resistance? Nah, it looks like a scavenger. We aren't too far from our new hideout. Maybe it's the guy who lives there. You know what? I think I'll introduce myself. The least I can do for leaving us all those resources? Shit. I might even give him a thank you card. <laughs> you keep looking.
Pirates. Not a good sign. Let's see. Keeping an eye on an old university hospital not far from here. Uh, they must have moved on to that hospital. All right, I've got everything. What's the status on that factory? Colin? Can you hear me? Colin? Shit. Colin, where are you? Can you hear me? Damn it. 
Jacob Rivers marked the termination. Are you all right, Jacob? Jacob! later, they found me lying in front of her hideout. I made it out alive, but not all of us did. Colin's dead, and the stranger I saw is nowhere to be found. I told them about everything. I said that it wasn't safe for them to be with me. But Jennifer suggested that right now, nowhere is safe, so we might as well stick together. Everyone pulled through as we prepared for the worst. But nothing happened. Jacob, are you awake? How long have you been sitting there? Not that long. I, I know that you're going to that hospital today, so I went on my first scavenging run. And I found something for oh, you. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you go with your sister? No. As soon as Erin heard that there's a hospital nearby, she asked Jennifer to go look for some medicine. So I, I went alone. D don't tell her that, okay? She's already at the medical district? Yep. And Ryan wanted to talk to you. The rifle cauterized the wound. That's why he's not bleeding. But damage to the skin made the burn prone to infection. That's what we need to worry about. Wow. You're really smart. <laughs> I learned all that before the war. And thanks to Judgment Day, I didn't even have to pay off my student loan. Patrick came to me earlier, asking if I thought you'd like his present. When I saw that it was a single bullet, I wasn't sure if he was being helpful or if it was a warning. I figured he didn't appreciate you looking at his sister like that. Do you need help with anything? No, I'm fine. I had to learn to do things by myself for quite a while, sweetie. Now, tell me what did you really want to ask me?
how did you become a doctor? Like anyone else before the war. I studied. Not that it matters, but I'm not technically a doctor. Judgment Day got in the way of graduation. But not only did my medical training save other people's lives, it even saved mine. I was spared when a bunch of us got captured by the machines. Maybe they thought it would be worth having a doctor in there. I don't know. What happens at those camps? People get tortured, experimented on, cut to pieces. I couldn't watch at first, but I soon realized that I had to do what no one else could. I had to bear witness to the atrocities. You were actually the first person that wasn't afraid to ask. They're all scared of me, like, like I'm carrying some sort of disease. But they're still coming to me for medicine. Ironic, isn't it? About that camp. What do you want to know? What work did you do there? Most of the time, I moved bodies for disposal. Sometimes their skin would be peeled off. Oh, it was horrific. Why would machines ever do that? My cellmate, Karen, was pregnant. I knew that was a one-way ticket to the grinder, so I had to plan an escape. What was your plan? I figured our best chance of getting out was with the bodies. That way, hypothermia was the only thing we had to worry about. The baby came early, and Karen died giving birth. She didn't even get to see her child. I had to take action. Me and one other prisoner took the child, and we got to the disposal room, where we covered ourselves with dead bodies. Then we just lay there, waiting for them to throw us out. And they did. They dumped us outside the camp, ready for the grinder. Were you still behind the annihilation line? Yes. We couldn't find anyone for days. We thought we were the last of the human race. Just the two of us and a baby girl. We ran to protect her, but deep down we were preparing for the worst. Anyway, you're healthy, right? And your bones don't look broken, so stop bothering me. How's Mark doing? Not great. We barely have any medicine left. But hopefully Jennifer will bring back some antibiotics from that hospital. How do you feel about Colin's death? What do you want me to tell you? That I feel guilty? That I care? Right now I'm a little more concerned with the living than the dead. Do you think you could help more people by joining the Resistance? Honey, maybe ask me that question when you finally find them. Because for now, I don't think they even exist. Okay, now sit. Roll over. Fetch. We've got a lot to learn. You wanted to talk to me? First of all, thank you for bringing me that toolkit. That bus should be ready in no time. Good to see you finally turn the corner. I wanted to talk to you. I'm starting to get worried about Jennifer. It's been a while since she left, and at my age, I try to worry as little as possible. If you see her out there, send her back, okay?
How's that bus coming along? I'll make a run again. Don't worry about it. Besides a couple of rusty rotors, it's got a whole lot of character. The question is, where do we go from here? Do you remember Judgment Day? I do. That's right. I'm that old. My memory ain't as good as it used to be. However, there are some images that stand out in my mind. My brother Tucker hitting on this lady guard, people covered in mud. But for the life of me, I can't remember the name of that band. Band? <laughs> Where was it? Tucker always dragged me to these events. Driving 100 miles to the middle of nowhere just to jump around with a bunch of strangers. Well, wasn't really my thing. Who would have known that it would have saved my life, though? Yeah, it was one of those outdoor festivals. When we got in, we decided to climb this metal tower to get a better view of the stage, you know. So as we're watching this band play their hearts out, we see a burst of bright, ugly light. I went blind for a while. Couldn't you look away? Well, there's no escaping it. It lit up the sky, lighting every peak and ridge of the nearby mountain range. Something only a nuclear bomb could do. My bloodshot eyes the only other thing I could see clearly was uh, people below me being crushed. The tower we were clinging onto started shaking. It finally gave in after the shockwave from the explosion. I closed my eyes and it started falling onto the people below. Now, what am I thinking of? I'm usually a lighthearted guy. Why don't we talk about something more positive? Oh. I remember the name of that band now. It was Captured by Robots. Jacob, thank you for finding him for me. I promise I'll take good care of him. Now, what should I call him? How about Max? That's a good name. I like that. again? I'll see you later. I'm gonna stay here and help Aaron.
sneak up on me like that. It's bad enough with those creepy noises. What noises? Every once in a while, there's this unbearable scream coming from that hospital. We need to see what's going on. Let's move. Let me. Picking locks is kind of my thing. Just shoot at everything that moves, don't you? Silverfish are sensitive to noise, so before it pops up from the ground and starts chasing, you throw a sound decoy. It'll draw any nearby silverfish away. I guess you can take it. You won't be needing it anyway. Did you hear that? That's the sound I was talking about. I don't think you should go any further. And what about you? I have to go. That could be the resistance. I understand. I, uh, feel stupid asking you this, but Aaron wanted me to find some antibiotics for Mark. <sighs> I know I'm not making it easy on you, but if you're in there and you find some, she... We would really appreciate it. I'll see what I can do. And remember that your gun won't do you any good against Terminators. So when you see one, do what I do. Sneak past them. I'll be waiting for you at the hideout. Right now, you need to start answering some questions. There will be a time for that, but right now, you need to help the people inside. As for Colin, there was nothing I could have done. It was either him or you. And it couldn't have been you. Hello?
this is it.
wonder if I could control those turrets with the hacking device. 